my boyfriend hates them, but I mean, who cares? Good morning, everybody, and welcome. Ah, someone's knocking. Welcome to the new vlog. Will you get the door for me, please? Thank you very much, my little helper. Anyway, today, guys, I have so many things I need to do, and I'm gonna bring you on a little adventure with me. Ah, oh, hello! Wow, you just basically ruined my setup, but that's okay because I love you so much. I'm just doing my lips. This is Charlotte Tilbury Lip Treat in Hot Gossip with MAC Lip Gloss in Spite. So let's see, I've never actually used this combo before. Let's see how it's gonna turn out. You know how I like to do it, a bit of tapping, this and that. Anyway, we need to get going because this morning I'm going to Dyson Beauty Lab on Oxford Street. It's sort of like towards the marble arch end of Oxford Street. I'm gonna bring you with me because I desperately need to get my hair done. I mean, look at this. Yesterday it rained so much and I really need to do something with this because currently I look like a wet dog. No offense, Alfie, to you. You always look gorgeous even when you or a wet dog but that's not the quite the look i'm going for if you see what i mean i'm just very much looking forward to because like i've never actually been to the dyson beauty lab i've heard about it i know people go there to like check out everything like all the products to get their hair done and today that's going to be me so i thought since i'm vlogging today i thought i'll bring you with me we're gonna go and explore and then i'm gonna have beautiful hair and then vlogging will also be much easier throughout the day because we are in london i'm leaving tonight but i want to vlog the whole day i might even try and book in since this is kind of like sort of a beauty day, right? It would be nice to book a little pedicure in as well. Let's see what we can do out of this day. Okay, I just realized I need to change. I don't know what happened to my top in my suitcase, but we're gonna wear something else. I, I know you guys love this top too, but I really, really love it. And I am going to change and then we have to go. Okay, my outfit of the day. This is the Zara skirt I've shown you in the previous video. This is the belt from the row, Magda Butchum corset, Balenciaga Cabulet boots. I love them so much. I got my new YSL velvet jacket, and this is the look of the day. Now let's go and get my hair done because no matter how good my makeup is or bad or whatever, hair is the most important thing for me. If my hair is done, I feel great. Something little that you probably didn't know about me. Okay guys, we arrived. It's very early on Oxford Street, not many people, which is what we like so that I can have it all for myself. Oh my God, by the way, look at this Vinca Blue and Rosé set. Now you guys know I have a fair share of like, I've shown you like a nice amount of different colors of uh, the Coral, of Airwrap, of the Supersonic and this color I think it just hits different. It looks so gorgeous. I love it. Now let's go and check out Dyson Beauty Lab. Actually now that the light is so gorgeous here I realize my makeup's not so bad. I did a good job this morning. It's just the hair that needs some TLC. Uh, I mean, this place looks so beautiful and I am ready to, ready to try everything. so that we can have volume at the end, right? Yeah, that's And correct. so we just smooth it a little bit. Yeah, so if and you now... want to pin with using like the smoothing brush, uh -huh. just to go I'll sh like the way that you kind of, um, just getting like, like we were saying, like small sections and brush it from underneath. Okay. We value the Always from underneath. underneath. Uh, if you want volume, I would say yes. Better yes, because you lift to the road, right? Yeah, and then you can go maybe on the side if you, especially when you are next uh -huh, to the hairline. to the if face, you yeah. You want to uh, the baby hair or all the visuals, but slowly, not super fast. Okay. And
delicious. It's okay. Don't worry. Wow, I love yeah, it. it I, although I wouldn't touch it because it will drop, it will yeah. drop out anyway. You can brush it out, but it's, cool. it's very. It will, I yeah. Very, it looks very, very natural, and I love it. Volume, bounce, everything. It's gorgeous. So we use the supersonic. We use the bit of to, to dry, dry, dry exactly because air wrap is for styling. It's I mean. If you don't have other choice, of course you can use it for drying, but I always use my Supersonic to rough dry first, then I style with my air wrap. That's just the way I do it, but I have a lot of hair and it's very coarse, it's what works for my type of hair. And I always use a little bit of Coral as well towards the roots, right? And so, the last, the, uh, final the final touch. Okay, something I have to show you is that in Opposite Street Dyson store, you can actually personalize your like box. This is the air wrap. Is this the air wrap box? Yeah. Yes. Okay, or you know whatever you whatever your product of choice is. But this is such a great present, Christmas, Valentine's Day. I don't know how far ahead you are planning. I'm very last minute shopper, but this is the touch that makes a huge difference. Guys, we just made this to Harrods because first of all, I have a new blow dry that shouldn't go to waste. The problem is there's nothing that can fit in my suitcase, not like even a needle, like not a tiniest little item. And I just <laughs> want to shop. So let's have a little stroll around. Uh, everything looks so good and tempting. I'm in a shopping mood, can you tell? Okay, we're now at the beauty hall in Harrods, which is so gorgeous. So I want to have a little stroll around and have a look at everything. I I can't say I need anything really. I want to go upstairs to like fifth floor or sixth floor. I don't know to have a look at a few things. But in the meanwhile, let's have a little browse here. They honestly have everything here, like every single brand. Like look at the Gucci beauty counter. I remember when this opened. They have the Hermes beauty. Looks always so good, so luxurious. Love these fragrances, the kind of like niche ones. My favorite one is, I believe, over here. It's a, one of the Vetiver Tonka. But at the moment, I just tried um, Fragrance du Bois, Santal Complete. Guys, you have to smell it, it's insane. Can we just agree how gorgeous is that color blue? Everything here is looking already a little bit mum to me. I want to try on Chanel ballerinas, but exact same ones as I already had like 10 years ago. Is that wrong? Let it go because I know they're very hard to yeah, find. Hard to get now. Yeah. It's true. <laughs> and it's crazy how they've come back in fashion. Something that caught my eye at Balenciaga shoe department are these sparkly shoes. Now, I tried these one already in the boutique, but I didn't like the fact that they were pink. I wanted them in like silver. But, guys, look at this like sparkly sock boot. It's like similar to the Saint Laurent ones that I have, but I think it looks way longer. Um, temptation! Some new Balenciaga boots. We have now all white tire boot I definitely do not need any more of those I have like the top white ones but now they have them in all white I mean there's a reason why shoe heaven is called shoe heaven can we agree on that one look at this there's so much going on the row should I get the row boots in the white for the season do we agree I mean black oh they also have brown they're not here but I like them. This bit reminds me of Vlogmas because I came here before last year's Vlogmas to shop for my camera all the way down at the end. And look where we are now. We are on the fifth floor in Harrods. I just stumbled upon because this is what we've seen this morning. So now I, th I think this is really great because here you can see different colorways of air wrap. Okay, so the latest one is this Vinca Blue and Rosé. It's so gorgeous. I think like it looks incredible like when I see it in real life because I saw it on picture before and I think it looks so much better in real life. Then there's the pink one, 
that is the gray like copper color blue and copper so gorgeous what's your favorite color i'm curious to know now that when they kind of upgraded the air wrap they include this tool over here which can i take it out there we go this is the kind of like a smoothing hair tool also different colorways of coral here's the red one i've never actually seen this one in real life the red what do you think supersonic this one's shinier this one's more matte oh and they also have here the personalization so here you can see what the personalization looks like once your box gets personal and very very nice gift but anyway i actually interrupted myself i was going to talk to you about something vlogmas because this reminded me of vlogmas last year would you like me to do vlogmas this year as well i feel like uh, i don't know like uh, I'm a bit in two minds about it. I want to do it, but at the same time, I don't know how many vlogmases have I already done, but you guys keep telling me that I definitely should do it. So I want to ask, I was gonna ask on Instagram, but then I realized what's the point of asking my followers on Instagram what I should post about on YouTube. I wanna ask you guys who watch my YouTube what you want to see. And also, maybe this year would be a little bit easier because also my boyfriend is now, I'm not hiding him, like in the last vlogmas I was constantly being careful not to show him, but this time it would be a little bit easier. So I want to hear your opinion. Thank you guys. Hi done. A bit of shopping done. We are now in a black cab heading back to the hotel because I am doing an apartment viewing right now and then I want to eat something as well at some point and I want to actually get that pedicure done like I told you early on I'm not sure if it's gonna be possible we're gonna try I need to pack my like whole entire 10 day travel situation and we need to head to the airport so that's the plan i'm hungry i'm eating some pretzels i'm really hungry we're back in the room i need to pack and check out urgently but this is so rude okay i want to show you what i got at chanel because i was in two minds okay so i was you could have seen i was checking out two different ballerina flats i love ballerina flats my boyfriend hates them but i mean who cares i love him and you know he should respect my personal style as he does i was looking at the kilted black ones and black ones with shiny tip and then i tried them both and yeah i also went a little bit down the memory lane you know because back in uh, 2010 yeah 2010 i got my first pair of chanel ballerinas so well 12 years ago that's a long I thought it was less. I was like seven years ago. No, it's like 12 years ago. And they were the white simple ballerinas with a black kind of top with Chanel logo. Then I got the kilted black ones. Then I got the kilted red ones. I mean, I had a fair share. Okay. And today I decided to go for these. They are classic black leather, soft leather, not kilted with black shiny top these are 39 and a half i'm 39 to 40 the kilted one comes smaller like i tried 39 and a half they were too tight in general the kilted ones are tighter on the foot because of the kilting on the side but i really love 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 these like for example this time of the year with like a trench and jeans like very cute very easy to wear if i just want to you know wear loafers but something even easier I would go for this so i have a lot of black shoes but guys i paid 200 pounds for them because i actually had like 500 pounds on my harris card so i was like yep consider it done anyway today was a very nice day i love when my hair is like clean and bouncy and it smells so good because i was at the dyson beauty lab and i feel like now like one of those tiktoks and i feel like i look naked i'm not naked as you could have seen anyway i actually really enjoyed getting my hair done first of all like he did my front pieces really well with the air wrap and he showed me how to do them myself which is very very valuable experience now dyson has been my partner for many 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 years and i've pretty much tried all of their products i purchased all of their products like for my sister even before i worked with them i have purchased like a hoover for my sister the air purifier for her for my home etc for my grandma you know like the important stuff and i think like when it comes to hair tools there's just no competition i use them all the time the hair dryer is something that both my boyfriend and i are obsessed with okay obsessed and it's something 
that just became such an important part of my life because when you have a lot of hair in one household it's an essential what i love so above the store like if you take those stairs up there's like a little mini salon you can get your hair washed and styled and it's 35 pounds to get your hair done i think that's the cheapest blow dry on oxo street i'm sure and using incredible products incredible tools so you get i wanted like bouncy but i wanted it light and so he said like we're not gonna come be through it was like all the curls were here so he said it will come down and then you will get what you want and this is exactly what i wanted like bouncy like a bit of a movement but not <sighs> not like too much of a wave but anyway what i wanted to say is that my biggest takeaway from the morning was i think for 35 pounds to get your hair done on oxford street using the best tools is incredible so you can go and book yourself in but the best part is if you buy a product they can teach you how to use it so i learned a lot today i asked a lot of questions also like let's say you have an air wrap and you're like not really familiar how to use it you can go in and ask for a little you know how to session while they do your hair tell them exactly what you like and they show you how to do it which i think is amazing so that was my experience now i have to pack up and you guys have to pray for me that everything will fit in my suitcase because i'm very much not sure it will but you know and then we're heading back to milan it's going to be crazy because i'm going to milan and my boyfriend just left it seems almost like we don't want to see each other but i'm not going to see him now for like i think five six more days which is crazy then we're going to be reunited in november so yeah that's it i will go now and attempt packing okay it's pedicure time we nailed it we came to nail it uh, in harvey nichols and i actually on my feet i really love a french pedicure no manicure i guess and i'm thinking between this and this base like a milky pink let me show it to you hopefully you can tell but it's something like these these are the shades I love it. A whole process we have. Guys, these are the products that I will use on my feet. I mean, I'm not even gonna show you my feet. You know how it is. Guys, I just realized something really terrible. I haven't actually finished the vlog and here's the reason i'm gonna give you an actual reason the vlog is about to go live so i'm like yeah everything perfect okay i haven't finished the vlog what i wanted to cheese i wanted to vlog like my travel back home arrival home a little bit more home content and my flight was at like 8 30 i arrived at the airport that night it was delayed by half an hour so i was like it's okay nine o'clock 9 30 10 no flight anyway we finally bought flight i think we landed in milan at 1 a.m especially because obviously there's a like one hour time difference between london and milan by the time i got my luggage it was like 1 30 there was a huge queue for taxi outside if i can find a picture inside it but it was like ridiculous i was so grateful that i actually booked a driver so anyway i got home it was like 2 30 i was in bed at 3 by the time i showered you know brought everything up i was dead the next day i, I didn't set up any alarm the next day i woke up it was 11 30 i don't remember ever sleeping until 11 30 that's how exhausted i was and that day i spent are you ready for this the whole day in bed i mean it was saturday so <laughs> i literally didn't do anything to vlog i unpacked at like 5 p.m i started unpacking i unpacked i put the washing i organized my wardrobe because i knew i want to do like want to show you a little bit of a wardrobe tour but i honestly haven't done anything that weekend can you believe it i think i left on sunday i had lunch with a friend and that was the only time that i left my house it was pretty crazy actually and then on monday i had like 1000 500 errands to do and i had to do them all in one day and film videos and whatnot and i shopped i went to valentino i spent like hours there like crazy 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 but now i'm actually in doha which is also crazy but you will see that in probably the next vlog or the one after next because i filmed something in between when i was at home so yeah i'm very sorry that i haven't actually properly finished this vlog but i wanted to do so much more i wanted to do a bit of london pampering like hair done pedicure a bit of shopping also fun we love shopping and then i wanted to also do a bit of like home relax you know like all the good stuff at home my home space but i honestly couldn't even so yeah and and time goes so you just have to go and publish what you have guys that's it anyway i love you i will see you very very soon sorry it was a short one but we'll fix it very soon bye